tonight on Nightline, Zoo Story, the former lion tamer who left Baltimore for Belize to create a home for some of the world's most extraordinary creatures. From the global resources of ABC News, this is Nightline, September 10, 2007. Now we go into the jungle, or to its edge anyway, where an American with a passion for animals has built an extraordinary preserve for some of them. Many are endangered, all of them are remarkable. ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman reports from Belize. Deep in the jungles of Central America lurk wild beasts and exotic creatures few people will ever get to see, especially in the jungle which is what makes the little Belize Zoo, in the little country of Belize, such a wondrous place. Well, we're going to meet Na Navidad, this wonderful tapir, close up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you don't mind a little... A little mud here. All of this was the dream of Sharon Matola. Born in Baltimore, she has lived in Belize for 25 years, creating this country's first and only zoo. Does she ever stop eating? <laughs> I think she would eat bananas until she fell over. You know, it's like a kid in a candy shop. She's very happy now. Tapirs with their odd snouts happen to be the national animal of Belize. Before the zoo opened, I would where go could into people of Belize rooms. see their national animal? Never. I was astounded. I would, I would go into schoolrooms when I first came to Belize and ask the kids to draw me a picture of a tapir, and they couldn't do it. They had no idea what a tapir looked like. Is there a theme to what's on display here? The theme is that every animal in the Belize Zoo is Belizean. And so... So there are no giraffes? You won't find a polar bear at the Belize Zoo. <laughs> in the immaculate cages of the 29-acre zoo, you will find jaguar undies, scarlet macaws, spider monkeys, and the jabiru stork, as well as Junior, the baby jaguar. Oh, that's a piece of chicken! Who are these guys? These are the southern river otter, a very rare, rare animal in Belize because they need clean, fresh running rivers. <laughs> Matola didn't plan to open a zoo when she arrived here in 1982. Ready, buddy? As a young woman, she worked in a circus as a lion tamer. She came to Belize to work with animals on a nature documentary. Those animals would become the first residents of the Belize Zoo. What did you know about being a zookeeper? I didn't know anything. I've never worked in a zoo. I, I was not a zoo person. <coughs> More babies. Hey, what have you guys been doing? As if I didn't know. From its modest beginnings, the Belize Zoo has grown to more than 100 animals, 22 employees, and a budget of just under a million dollars a year. All of it from ticket sales, private foundations, and donations. By giving these animals a home, Matola has saved many from abuse, and in some cases, certain death. But it is her work with the majestic jaguars that has really made a difference. This endangered species still roams in the jungle, but in the eyes of poor farmers, they are a pest. This is Wild Boy, a persistent killer who Matola took in. Give me a high five. Pause up. Good. And if you hadn't taken him from the wild, what would have happened? He would have been doomed because he was a repeated known cattle killer. And the cattle, the, the cattle ranchers, these are small farmers, and that's their livelihood. That's how they support their families. So they lose the any type of feelings of compassion for this animal. This is hurting their existence. So he would have been killed. And so began the Problem Jaguar Rehabilitation Program. Single-handedly, Matola has saved 10 jaguars from certain death. She trains them to be less aggressive and ships them off to zoos in the U.S. With only 44 jaguars for breeding in U.S. zoos, the new arrivals are needed and welcome. Are we not happy that this cat is with us right now instead of, you know, hanging on a wall somewhere? Two of those problem jaguars have already been sent to zoos in Milwaukee and Philadelphia. Two more are on their way to the U.S. Roll. Because of her pioneering work, Matola has been called the Jane Goodall of jaguars, after the pioneering advocate for chimpanzees. Have you had to fight to get respect and recognition as a legitimate player, not just some eccentric animal pet keeper? 
I didn't care what people thought. I knew there was a very important need for a facility like this. And so I just went head on to it. And I think it just shows that if you really want to accomplish something, if you stay focused, if you follow your dreams, it happens. One woman's brazen dream has created this extraordinary little zoo. No wonder they call it the best little zoo in the world. Good boy. For Nightline, I'm Jeffrey Kaufman in Belize. But that's our report for tonight. I'm Martin Bashir. For Terry Moran, Cynthia McFadden, and all of us at ABC News, good night, America.